Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about creating a power schema for deployment. I think one of you guys left me a comment a while back stating that you wanted me to do a power config XML scripting thing for deployment. Uh, I found that kind of interesting, so you know, I did a little research, and here goes the video. So I'm gonna break it down. I don't know how many videos as of yet, and I don't know the ETA of the other videos. Uh, this video is all about creating it. And then on the second video, maybe how to deploy it with MDT or SCCM. And on the next video, SCCM or MDT, I don't know yet. Okay. So first things first, I have a testing machine. On a testing machine, I'm going to show you guys what version I'm running on. I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, click OK. And I'm doing everything within a Microsoft Windows 10 version 1903 build 18970. Okay. First thing that we need to do is click on start and type in control panel. Okay. Locate power options. And within power options, what we need to do is click on create a power plan. Once you click on that, give your plan a name and choose your power plan. I gave it power saver and plan name would be BTN HD and then click next. And then turn off the display, give it whatever number you want. Uh, got a whole list of them. Once you pick what you want, click on create and you're done. Not yet. Uh, if you click on change plan settings, it takes you back there, but you get a new option. Change advanced power settings. When you click on that, you get a nice little menu with more options. I can't really tell you guys what to do within your environment. So take your time and configure it the way that you want it. Okay. Once you configure it, once you change all your settings, uh, like desktop background settings, your sleep, your USB settings, a PCI Express, it's really up to you. Apply it, press OK, and you're done. Not yet, because we need that file so we could deploy it within our deployment, MDT or SCCM. So what we need to do is right click on the start menu, and I'm going to run Windows PowerShell as an admin. You're going to get the user account control. Click yes. And the first command line that we're going to run is the following. We're going to do is power CFG, power config, with a forward slash of lists. When you hit enter, it's going to give you the list of all the existing power schema. And then you're going to see the one that we just created. For me, the name was BTNHD. What's important here is that GUID. First things first, I don't want you to think that magic tricks are being done behind the scenes. I open up my explorer. Because I'm going to drop my BTNHD power schema inside my C drive. As you can see, there's nothing in there. So the next command line that we need to do is run power config forward slash export in the path of where you want to drop your power schema. Now, I don't really think you need to have the same name of the power schema. Like, for example, I have one that says high performance. So I don't think I need to keep high performance. Right. Uh, so. My export is called btnhd.pow. That is the extension for your power schema. After that, space and the GUID of the power schema that you want to export out. Hit enter. You're not going to get a confirmation, but if you go back to the location of where you want to export to, like for me it was the C drive, you're going to see btnhd.pow or whatever name you gave your power schema. And that's it guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe. And yes, I have my finger all bloody and taped up. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next uh, follow up on this video. Peace out.